Oh my gosh. I again, I it was a comedy errors tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. Um it, now that the microphone is on, uh thank you Chris for letting me know. Uh let's start at the beginning. Hi everybody. It's Ron from Ron's Computer Videos. I want to thank everybody for uh, taking time to uh, hang out with me tonight in the stream. Uh, Chris, especially, thank you for letting me know. I'd, I would have done all this and had the mic off since there's not a lot of people. It's um, This is the first night of December, which is that magical time of the year where retro PC enthusiasts uh, like to bang out their frustrations on old DOS games. Um, I, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I did a stream, uh, the other day where I played Prince of Persia, uh, which is the, um, uh, 1990 follow-up to Karateka or Karateka, depending on who, who wants to pronounce it incorrectly. And, um, I had quite a bit of fun playing it, but man, it was also super frustrating because it's like a three and a half hour stream. And uh, during the stream, I was like, die, reload, save, reload, save, die. And it was just so frustrating. So what I wanted to do tonight is I wanted to try to go through and um, <laughs> like play the PC version to just see if maybe playing the Mac version has kind of prepped me for uh, to be better at the PC version of the game. So we will give that a shot here in a second. Again, thank you everybody. Sorry for the technical issues and then technical issues again when I started the actual stream. So uh, once again, let's go ahead and uh, I, do, I do a little bit of house keeping real fast. Thank you to all my Patreons or patrons over on Patreon. Um, it's uh, for just a dollar a month. You can uh, get your name in my videos and things like that. Also want to thank my new patrons, uh, Joe's Computer Museum, Jay from House of Moth, Britt Dodd, Chris Torrance, Dave Slaughter, Zodium, and Eric Miller was in the chat earlier this evening. He's one of my new patrons as well. Uh, Adam was in the chat. He's a, he's a patron. And uh, David Ross, good to see you as well. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, just hanging out and uh, just being so darn patient. And if you're interested in following and seeing what I'm doing online, uh, of course, you can always find me on Twitter. Uh, you've already found the YouTube page. Uh, you can check out IMDb for future projects that I'm working on. Cameo, if you'd like me to send a, a funny message to your grandma. Uh, you can always, uh, you know, the, the pat Patreon thing. And then uh, my good friend, Jamie Hazard, who has a wonderful, w wonderfully talented artist who did the, the uh, sort of the compi logo for the channel, um, you can check her out over at smithshappens.threadless.com. So let's head back to the lobby here. So again, thank you. Uh, let's, uh, you guys have been so patient. Let's get the ball rolling on this darn thing. I'm going to switch over to the December feed. Probably need to reach out to uh, one of these super talented people I know to make a better <laughs> sort of overlay for <laughs> for this uh it's pretty pretty clunky but again this is the first night of december so uh you know things are kind of flying fast and loose so let's go ahead and uh let's play a little bit of prince of persia um again uh jordan mechner 1990 originally for the apple ii then was released for the pc um i think the um Apple II version came out in like 89, maybe 88, 89. It took a little bit of time to port it over. And then it was on flipping everything. I mean, it was on like every machine on earth. Hey, it's uh, Sucra. Sweetie, you just stopped by. Let's go ahead and let's get this loaded. Uh, Zodium, uh, I saw your um, your uh, uh, Pokemon stream. So it's, it's good that you're actually putting some stuff on your channel now. All right. I think that we all know the introduction. Uh, we'll let the, the other uh, ones play through. But the whole plan of this is to try to make it through in one hour. Um, I will make it as far as I can in that hour. And I, probably towards the end, I'll be cussing a little bit. But um, I'm going to do my best to try to keep to that 60-minute sort of um, that 60-minute goal. So if you guys haven't watched uh, Retrotech Chris's uh, new video on um, the differences between double space and uh, what is it like just drive space? What did they end up, What did they rename it to? Uh, it's it's actually that's covered in. Oh, game audio is loud. Okay, 
let me go ahead and all right i have that adjusted and you'll have to let me know if this sounds if this sounds better um secret chicken good to see you as well how are we doing on game audio now hopefully nobody died when those uh little plates fell maybe go about half on the audio all right well i am i'm now at at considerably lower percent so hopefully that is if it is not of course i will adjust it again yeah double space and drive space yeah so it's a fun video and he uh, very much outlines uh what you um, can kind of in, in, expect in terms of performance on those products and um, spoiler alert uh, it turns out when you're using software compression on a <laughs> software compression on a DOS machine it it does uh, it knocks the performance down a little bit you can lower to half of what it is now well I uh Neighbors are yelling at me because it's so loud. Okay, well, uh, I have I've lowered it even more. You'll have to tell me if this is if this is better. Remember, there's a little bit of a delay here, so I don't always see right away. about now is things better are things better which is better better one better two oh dave hey dave how are you doing i uh i played this with pc speaker sound too in high school and who doesn't love a gravis ultrasound Oh, God. Just run up the stairs. <laughs> All right. So is is audio better now? It's better. Good. Okay. It's, um, I think I have the sliders confused because there's one that's labeled desktop audio and then there's one that's the actual output of my sound card. And I don't, I didn't know. Anyway. So, but yeah, no, it's, uh, those Gravis ultrasounds, great cards, um, excellent MIDI. Uh, I do remember for a while I had a Gravis card that you still had to have. Oh, that was a that's a rookie mistake there, folks. Um, that you still had to have a Sound Blaster 16 for your like FM synthesis sort of stuff. It just strictly did Okay. Hey, Brandon, how are you, sir? Good to see you as well. I, uh, I am going to do my best to try to do better than the Macintosh stream the other night. Because, man, that was just the waste. Three and a half hours, and it was just like, it was it was fun, but it was like so stressful <laughs> by the end. <laughs> and then uh, I had to go back and finish it up later. But I ended up beating those, uh, I ended up beating it, and I think I had like seven minutes to spare or something. So that's not terrible certainly could be better oh wait yeah. uh, what am I doing wrong here oh yeah that's right I'm sucking okay jump across oh no <laughs> what why? Why? Why is this like this? Okay, hold on. Okay, so let's uh, let's play smarter, I guess. Okay, so this guy is higher skill because he's got the yellow suit on, and um, he'll parry more. See, like um, some of the later guys will not. Or some of those blue guys will not parry at all. Yeah, Pop 2 is really good. Um, hey, and thank you for adding that to the um, the list. 
I, I meant to ask you about that. Okay, so drink red potions, don't drink blue <clears throat> potions. It turns out they're just Smurf pee. You don't wanna you don't wanna be any part of that. Okay. See, these blue guys, they don't they will sometimes parry. Or maybe I don't know what color it is. But he's uh they're the lower sort of skill enemies, I guess. Is there something I'm supposed to do over here? I think that's the end of the level. That's where I go when I'm done doing everything up here. Uh, yeah, I've played Pop 2. Pop 2 is quite a bit of fun. Uh, it looks really great on the Macintosh. I um, I think that uh, uh, it's also the game that kind of introduced or brought the... Um, like, if you play the PC version, it's the one that has, like, the screaming death. Oh, yeah. The screaming death sound, like, when you, like, jump. When you're like, ah, and, like, falling off a building or something, so. Are there any rules for December? Um, this is the most gatekeeper-y kind of event of the retro computing season. So I would say that the rules are try to make something that has to do with DOS and try to uh, not, um, you know, get too far off of that sort of root idea. The um, um, In previous years, it's really been the only people that you saw at kind of any official level kind of doing things were kind of big channels. And I think last year, more and more people were just like, you know what, it's... Uh, you guys, we'll just make our own artwork, and we like this idea, and we want to be part of it, and that's what they did. So, I think the I think the rule is have fun, and try not to take things too seriously. And come up with some good DOS content. And I think my best video for DOS December last year was doing that card about the uh, PC uh, compatibility card for Macintosh. Because I did a bunch of um, benchmarks and people thought that was pretty fun. Do I got to do anything this way? No. Ugh, ugh. Hit knock, stop knocking my head on things. Yeah, no more gatekeeping. And that's, it's kind of, I don't want to plug my event um, that I helped co found like during December, but here we are. Um, there is a Macintosh event that takes place every year that kind of has um, the idea is that you, um, we give you the artwork, we give you everything you need. Oh. Yeah, don't bounce your head on the thing there, guys. That's bad. Um, basically, we give you all the artwork. We give you all the guidelines. There's a style guide, uh, kind of, you know, suggestions on fonts and stuff to use. Oh, gosh, I missed my I missed my stop. Um, and just trying to make it as easy as possible for people to create and to participate. And it's um, and that's why we had some great videos last year like um dr dave who made uh an amiga video where because it is the amiga is kind of the fastest macintosh that ever was um just because you know they're both 68,000 based and uh yeah gotta hoof it here oh, get up there yeah i did it and you got to keep running here. You do not want to stop. <laughs> and that skeleton comes back to life and wants to fight you here in a minute. And I, you know, I just, I want to create fun things with fun people. And March and Tosh has largely become that. So I'm very, very pleased. We've got some really great people doing stuff on that front. And I am glad that people have kind of taken. There we go. All right, now I gotta go all the way back. Fight the, uh, 
fight the skeleton, and then I can get out of here. Um, I like that people have kind of taken things back because it's like, you know, just let just let people do stuff and, and have fun and try not to be gatekeepers. But I guess people kind of get in that that thing where there we go. Oh no. I think this is better if you like run jump over the top of the skeleton so he's the up the other direction okay you still gotta fight this guy <laughs> you gotta fight him again on the ground down there um so we will yeah see he's already waiting for us so we gotta make him fall down this pit over here. Basically just force him backwards until he disrupts that tile. And there he goes, bye-bye. All right, there we are. I'm so cautious and that's probably what cost me the most time. Yeah, Ron Uary, Ron, Ron Tober. No, it's, um, again, it's not supposed to be about the individual people. It's supposed to be kind of about the event and about the love of that specific sort of corner of retro computing. So, I guess I'm doing okay. She still looks pretty comfortable. She doesn't look too upset just yet. All right. Level four, 50 minutes remaining, 49 minutes remaining. Not terrible, not terrible. I think that that is a trick to go through there. I think the real plan. These guys are aggressive. Uh, uh, it'd be real great if you would just die there. Yes. Okay. So now he holds the door, hold door, for us. So that we can do other fun things. I think we gotta go up here. There's a... Okay. Alright, and that will hold the door open for us. Which is right neighborly of, them, of that dead dude. So let's get our bonus. I need, I don't know about you playing this darn game, but I need like all the health I can get because those sword fights are brutal at times. All right, and I don't know if I, yeah, that is a, that is a trick. Oh man. Well, that sucks, but it's all right. We'll figure this out. All right. Hey, it's Mike's Mac Shack. Oh, wait. No, I think at this point I go right. Yes, I do go right. Uh, well, I'll probably go ahead and drink this. Because I... People leaving free booze around. You gotta take a sip every now and then. All right. Okay. Hello, Mr. Blue. Ah, you guy. Alright, yep. Pretty sure I'm going the right way here. Uh. Okay, and this is a trick, because you'll fall down the pit. Or maybe it's not a pit there. Isn't that, isn't that great? 
He's yellow, so he's the higher sort of difficulty enemy here. Oh, man. Do not... <sighs> dying on a... Dying between rooms. Wonderful. And you know what? Honestly, that's almost a wipe right there. If you're if you're going for the uh, any kind of uh, record or anything, I guess. Oh come on! I was like very delayed getting my weapon out. You heard? Uh... All right. Well, I'll do this the old way, I guess. Definitely got to go and get the... Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Can't get two easy ones, right? Yeah, we're playing the PC version tonight because I just wanted to see if it's any easier now that I went through the, the Mac version. And the answer so far is yes. I have fewer deaths per minute than I did with the Mac version. Um, Mac version is very frustrating on the the, the fighting. Because the fighting, it just feels like you... Uh, it's just the most floaty, crazy sort of thing where it's just like you're... You're trying to send commands of what you want it to do. But then it's it's like only getting it like half the time. Okay, so let's uh, let's not die this time. Let's do better. Again, you wanna you know you do better every day, right? You wanna work on your personal skills and work on your gaming skills and. Just try to do a little, little bit better each time. I don't know what's on the other side. Oh yeah, safety. That was what was on this side here. I don't remember what's to the left. Yeah, but I'll absolutely deal. Be great if you would just die on the. Pressure plate? Nope. Alright, well, what's over here? Pretty sure we gotta go to the right. Yeah, I don't remember time to time. It's like uh, I play this game and my brain gets wiped. And then I go, I gotta go back and do it again. All right, this time I'm getting in the dang room. This is tough to see him, like the pattern there. some more. I'll drink to that. Yeah, I think a uh, PC version appears to have some better... Oh yeah, this is the room where you um, split your soul with the, uh, the fake prince. Yeah. Okay, there's the end of the level opening up. trying to be careful. It's really easy to like overshoot those things and you know as a kid I was kind of like there it is. Yeah it takes you down to like no health. So it's probably a good idea to get out of here. <sighs> Ooh. It's a different musical sting. Love it. Too much. I 
I did get a Dimension 4100. That's cool. Recently became a 98 machine. I'm wondering if I should load some DOS stuff onto it. Absolutely. I would say that there is like a, uh, a collection of DOS software. It's called like Total Recall. Um, that is like a like a huge 45 or 50 gigabyte DOS gaming collection. Um, I would never advocate piracy, but it is kind of a... There are demos and stuff. I think there is a version... Yeah, oh good, I'm not dead. Thanks, Adam. Um, there is a version that you can play that is strictly just the demos of all those great um, DOS games from yesteryear. Okay, so I've got to do this because... Fake Prince has to come in and steal my health upgrade here. And even if I do, if even if I can, like, meet up with him, it don't matter. <laughs> later in the day, or later in the level, that's when you really gotta kind of worry about that. Yeah. I've only died twice. I'm... I'm doing pretty okay. This guy is a harder enemy. He's got like, he's got more health. I mean, not now, but he did previously. These, uh, these fights really slow you down in the game too. Because it would be great if um, they were maybe a little more action-packed. <laughs> Mike says, I advocate piracy. I steal all the wares. There is there's some sword fighting now on this level. Um, I think levels 8 and 9 are kind of my tough levels. Um, level 8 is the one where you got to wait for the mouse to come and save you, basically. <laughs> and then level 9 is its a lot of climbing and a lot of backtracking. And for me, I end up getting kind of stuck in, in, uh, stuck in all that. And then it makes for a uh, frustrating sort of thing. This is, uh, it's all sword fighting. This, this is the Karateka level of swords. Instead of feet, I guess. I am no good at Karateka. But I appreciate people that are. Nintendo made copies of the old Pokemon games available at MSRP. I totally buy legit copies. Didn't, isn't the new one a remake? Isn't the new... Shining diamond or glistening pearl. Isn't it a remake of like a 3DS version or something? So, I mean, they kind of do, but you certainly can't play the original originals. That's why I do like um, Konami. Um, they make those collections. Like they had a collection of... Uh, do I got to go this way? Uh, they made a collection of all of the... Uh, yeah, I don't have to go that way. Um... Um, Castlevania games in like one big collection on the PC and it was uh, like you could just pull the ROMs out of it. Uh, what type of controller am I using? It is a Dell keyboard. <laughs> yeah, here's the chonky guy. I like the chonky guy because uh, I think he's one of the more fun guys to have a little sword fight with because he uh, it's kind of like he's bad in all the right ways um, I do have a Logitech um, uh, gamepad but I just oh there's my buddy okay so the plan is gotta go back all right so I gotta run And he shuts the door on me, and I try to get up, and I can't, and you fall down to level 7. All right. Uh, 37 minutes on level 7, not great. 
I'm going to tell you. But um, could be worse. This is, again, this level is a great place to lose a lot of time. Because you... Uh, you got to backtrack so much. And there's a lot of spikes, which I end up... Tiptoeing around? Yeah, I don't think you want to... There's a, a loose brick there you don't want to hit. Because it makes it way tougher. Okay. Yeah, it makes it way tougher to do stuff later. Because you've got to... you got to actually, I think, backtrack more. This is... Um, this is emulation on real iron. Um, this is DOSBox, and I was playing around with DOSBox X because you can do uh, some different, more fun things on that, but for whatever reason, it's slower on my machine. Like, DOS performance is crap. Now, granted, you do get maybe Glide support and some other things, and Glide for DOS is great. Uh, Glide for Windows 98 on there? Really terrible. All right, probably need to get this potion. <laughs> What's happening over here? Okay. Okay. So I guess I've got to... Uh, I may have screwed myself up there. No! Hey, I think on the Mac version that, that that's a fail condition right there. Because you will... Um, you kind of lock yourself in there, and then you've got to, like, go back and redo it. Um, I do have a, a PC here. It's got a Voodoo 3500. Oh, nope. I don't got to do this. I got to go down to the next level. Um, I, it's got a Voodoo uh, 3500 in it. Um, I had a bunch of problems trying to make that work with 98. Like, it, it would not install any driver. It did not matter. It did not matter which driver I tried. And I, I tried the ones out there on Phil's Computer Lab. I tried, um, there's some out on archive.org that people swear by. And I didn't have luck with any of them. So I could not get it to work. And so I thought, oh, well, it's just got to be my 98 install. So I blew the machine away and put ME on it just to test. And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't work under ME either. So I am not sure what is going on. It's a it's a BX chipset uh, Pentium 2 board. So it's not like it's really kind of weird hardware or something where it wouldn't work but it absolutely just gave me fits because I was trying to do that slot one challenge thing that was going on uh, on, oh man oh come on oh did you see that did you see that too that doesn't really count as a death really does it 33 minutes I'm thinking that we are now outside the window of being able to come I'm having control issues guys um, we're now outside the window of being able to complete the game in 30 minutes or less. So, so Domino's will be very displeased. And then sometimes after that happens, these blue guys decide that they are just going to grow some balls and, and they become, until you die again, they become nigh on impossible. Yeah, sometimes you play this and it will absolutely teleport you to where it thinks you need to be. Uh, and you can make your old Mac AGP cards work with your dimension. All you gotta do is reflash the BIOS. Oh, come on. Queued up a bunch of commands there. You want a refund on what? I had technical problems, man. I'm sorry, Adam. Okay, these guys right here, total pain in the butt. And it's like, you know, I just want to get past you. This guy does not pay you enough to die down here.
30 minutes or less. Yeah, I know, man. This ain't dominoes. Alright, so I think the simple way to do this is go through there like this. And then go through there like that. And then we drop down to the second level. And there are super death spikes down there below us. Uh, we can't do that. We will jump over the top. Yeah, you gotta watch the positioning of that right there, because that is a that is an easy way to die. Bit time to process. Hey, secret chicken. Thanks, uh, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I will do my best to save the princess, or probably die about fifty more times trying. So this is this is the son of a gun who got us last time. Okay. Yeah. See that? What is that all about? That is a bunch of crap. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. So frustrating. What nonsense did I stumble into now? You can read the description just like everybody else. But this is uh, the pop, the pop for PC for DOS Simber. Everybody loves DOS Simber. It's the most PCest time of the year. And this this map here, or this level, is just like the absolute, like, we are just going to fight all the swords. Okay, you're going to have to do something, bud. There we go. I mean, dying is an option. There we go. Okay. Ron is playing a port of the Apple II game on his DOS computer. It's very true. It's uh, We're covering all the bases here on DOS Simber. On DOS Simber the first. Yeah, the... Uh, I have not played the Apple II version as much as I have played the PC kind of version here. Or the Mac version. I played the bejeebies out of the Mac version of this game. All right, we're getting close. Okay, just remember you can't get. Yeah, can't get too close to that edge when you try to do the um, the jump, because otherwise you will. You'll fall off the other. It. I mean, it's space just perfect to kill you, and that's honestly kind of. You got ticking clock and high difficulty, so um, that is what this game has going for it. Yeah, the two GS version is pretty.
All right. Well, we're now further than we have ever been. <laughs> okay. I think you got to keep running past these. You do not want to stop on the edge. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, these games were absolutely designed to be Nintendo hard because, you know, it's not... It's an hour-long game, right? It's, um... If you get the the base skills down. Okay. And you absolutely, positively want to jump over that brick. Or that trigger. Because that trigger will make this all for nothing. Okay. So now we got floaty juice. And this this game, like, leap of logic kind of stuff, just like Karateka. And if you screw that up, because you can go through there and get trapped. Oh, I'm doing that like you can see the screen, like see what I'm pointing at. Um, but you could do that and you will absolutely get stuck. Um, and you won't be able to get past that. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. Um, 26 minutes remaining. Maybe. Maybe. Depends on how all these fights go. Because like this guy here is just like a son of a gun. Like, this, this one dude right here is basically the difference between, like, making it and not making it. Because this is, like, a long fight. Because look at all those parries. And look at all that damage he's doing. 25 minutes. Lord. And it's every time you got to fight this fight, I mean, it's literally a minute. Or more. And so if you gotta fight it like 10 times, that's a problem. Yeah, like that. And I don't think there's anything to do this other direction. Oh, there's a blue potion? Might as well. Yeah, see? Don't drink the blue potions, y'all. Oh my gosh. So you got a minute long fight with this guy and then you've got like, I, he just needs to like be easier. Yeah. 25 minutes remaining. Looking grim. Looking grim y'all. He doesn't step in the way the other guys do. You gotta advance and then parry and then just start hammering the thing and just hope he steps in. Because there. You can bait him. Some of the other guys you can bait. This guy you can't bait for some reason. Yeah. Okay, probably 24 minutes. Yeah, it's it's a minute long fight that if you lose, you are doomed to fight it again. And it's like you have to wait forever to get back to this part in the game. Okay, please just go die on your spike bed. It's 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 what you want. Okay. Please just go die. There. See, aren't you happier down there? I mean, it seems like your kind of place. You know, I, I tried to ID KFA on that guy, and it did not work. I think I'm at the wrong era of DOS game. Uh, 
spikes. I think tip thrown through the spikes hurts my time too. All right, now this is the level where you um, absolutely, you gotta wait for that mouse to come and save you. And uh, once he does, then I, he doesn't figure into the rest of the game. Okay, right here, he pushes that pressure pad right there. And that makes it to where you can uh, escape. I was going to say, there are some more fights. Not super easy fighting you behind a column, but luckily you are one of the aggressive guys. And it'll get you taken care of pretty easy. Yeah, I am absolutely going to need this, y'all. Bloop, 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 bloop. bloop. Jordan Mechner's brother there. All right, you really want to kill that guy out there on that pressure plate, but when you come running through there, he is absolutely just going to whack you one time. So there is a another potion up here that we are going to avail ourselves of that will um, absolutely make the difference in this fight, I think. Now look how long this level is. If you die anywhere along here, okay, and you just want to get on that screen and start whacking this dude. Really want to back him up. And if you can kill him on that pressure plate, all the better. Or he falls to his death a different way. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I felt that happen. So now 12 minutes? <laughs> 21 minutes remaining. Great. Uh, you've got to run through there because that thing just starts dropping. And if it, fall, if it drops, then you are like, you've still got to get that pattern correct. Chris, have a wonderful night. Thank you again for stopping by. It's uh, awful nice of you. Thank you for adding this to the playlist. All right, die, die, die. Yep. Um, I do not know if we are going to make it, but we will try. 21 minutes is cutting it pretty tight here based on the level that we're on. Um, like, I do not think that... If you get to level 12, and you are still... Uh, basically, at that point, you're okay. Because you can fight Jafar yet. Because he's on that level, and it, it doesn't, like... It doesn't count that against you somehow. Well, thankfully, it doesn't count that against you. Oh, man tiptoeing through the swords here. I mean, this is ancient Persia. How do you think that they're doing that? Do they just have people that stand under the floor all day waiting for somebody to walk by? Do they, like, poke swords up through the up through the ground? Thank you for dying so quickly. We can skip this one. We just need to get the next one of those potions. Um, just because you do come running in there and that guy is absolutely just ready to whack you in the face with a sword. And sometimes, depending on your speed, um, it will just kill you. It's like a one-hit kill and that's it. And there's nothing you can do about it other than just feel bad and... You know, kick dirt, I guess. Ah, oh, so close. So close. Okay. 
Okay, if you could die on the pressure plate, that would be very appreciated. do that buddy but good on you I guess all right we made it oh no I forgot I forgot oh lord you gotta you gotta keep running yeah it's like that's why it's so good to kill that guy on the pressure plate because then ah eh, you know at least I ain't got to fight these guys again. Just got to run past them. Ugh, man. Uh, always something. I think if you just get your timing right, you know, and you gotta you gotta scoot back a little bit here to make sure you got enough build up. And then the next thing, yeah, here we go, another damn fight. I think this guy is a little more sort of um, like. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, you don't want to kill him on the pressure plate. That would be bad. Okay, so let's get through here. Okay. Okay, you gotta jump through. made that. Now remember, that's the little pressure plate that our buddy the mouse has to come and press the button for us. Okay. And then people are like, oh, the end, and I'll just run back through here as fast as I can. And I get mortared. Alright. So we should be home free at this point. Okay. So I think now you're just like, you're waiting around for the mouse. Because the, um, if this were a Nintendo game, the guys would respawn every time the screen loads. And that's true. And this, I think this is on the Nintendo. I think it's on the Nintendo and I think it's on Genesis and it's on some other stuff. Uh, I think for the console versions, people kind of speak really highly of the Genesis version. Um, I, uh, I don't think I've ever played it. I've seen pictures of it and it does look really nice. So, I would say of, oh, there we go, okay. I would say that there's a lot more, like, on the, kind of the set dressing of it that people kind of prefer, I guess. And the controls are maybe slightly improved. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we are running short on time, princess. So we will see if we get the good ending or the bad ending. But again, the, the whole challenge of this is to just play one hour's worth. And if we play, like, I don't think level nine, I don't think we're going to get this. Oh, yeah. I guess that is the way to go. Um, I don't think we're going to make it with this amount of time left. But, but again, the challenge was to see if we could make it. Uh, how far to the end could we get? in the time allotted compared to uh, the stream that I did last week. <laughs> and I will tell you that we are already doing so much better. Now this is important because you see where I'm standing right above me there's a one of those little uh, pressure plates. Oh, damn. Damn, y'all. Um, there's one of those pressure plates. You want to absolutely make sure that you trigger that because if you don't... Oh man, two for two. Um, if you if you don't trigger that, you'll have a fail condition where you um, will not be able to complete the level. It'll basically want you to go all the way back 
Uh, have I played the reboots at all? No, I've not played the reboots. It's um, I I played maybe Sands of Time. I thought that came out like on the PlayStation or something. Uh, but it's been four bajillion years, so I don't remember much of anything about it. Hi, I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty, sir. This guy has a lot of health, but he's also kind of sucky. I say that just as he bops me one. Okay. I was going to say, I don't... From here on out, I don't think we have as many fights. That last level was the... Kind of the... Uh, the screen. The filter. <laughs> that I guess uh, makes a lot of people take their floppy out and break it in half or something. So, Alright. I'm pretty sure we can get through this. I do not know if we can do it in the allotted amount of time that we need, but by gosh, we will give it a shot. We have to go down first. Uh, yes, actually. Hold on. And I'll show you how you do this safely. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> you don't do it like that. But you see how it opened that door over there. If you don't have that door open, um, you, you're you like now at the end of the level and you have to backtrack through the entire level. Uh, to get to where you need to be to get through that door. So the um, you absolutely need to take care of that first. Probably in a smarter way than how I did it, but... get to the edge of the screen here. And I can't remember if there's a tr like a trigger there that kills things and if it does you've got to avoid that. Okay, and here's another one of those things where you absolutely got to line things up just right. 10 minutes remaining. I do not think we have enough time. Here's another one of those long fights that if you just, you don't get the right RNG, you will absolutely just be, it's a wipe, you're back to the beginning of the level, and you're just sad. Ouch. Oh, shit. Yeah. That was close. Hey, it's Dave's uh, Vintage Apple Tech. Sorry, you got one of them long channel names, man. It's tough. It's tough for somebody like me to remember all those words. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go flying all the way over here. And then go down. And then step through. And then try not to get moited. Mm. Yeah, good luck to me getting this. <laughs> yeah, I don't think... I was going to say, I don't think I take damage if I do it like that. Oh, shit fire. I forgot about this. Yeah, I was going to say, that's insta-death there. 
flips the controls upside down. I think you, you actually have to go down. Uh, you can just skip that area. It, it's a fake. Um, on the Macintosh version, it just looks like a regular thing. So you don't get baited into going over there, I don't think. Yeah, we're definitely at like eight minutes or something now. So no way to beat this in time. think that they that is like a super super skill kind of thing if you can really do this in an hour I would be impressed I would love to watch you know a uh, like a let's play or something like that where you're just like tearing butt through Prince of Persia maybe this will be a good inspiration if you guys want to try to beat my score which uh, certainly uh, won't take much but no, Adam, you're right. Whoops. Whoops is the word. I will say, the more you play through this, the, the easier it kind of gets. And you kind of remember all the little, all the little tricks. That was almost dire right there. Okay, we can get to the edge of the screen, and then that's just enough space. Okay, and you do, we do have to, do they even have clocks when this happened? Yes, they were sand, uh, those sand, sand dudes. Okay. I tried to turn around, I swear. But again, this game often just teleports you where it thinks you need to be rather than where you actually are kind of in the game world. Like with um, like getting up to the levels and things like that. Or like pulling yourself up. Like, watch, I'll drink the potion. It just knew that that's what I wanted to do, so it teleports you over there. And that's okay in uh, situations where... Um, you want that to happen, but kind of not all the time. <laughs> it's sometimes it's advantageous and sometimes it's not. Oh. Yeah, again, just uh teleport you to where it wants you to be. So this is level nine, right? Yeah, and it's and it's just so crazy. Some of these little fights, again, they can take like up to a minute. So if you um, if you if you whiff them, and you got to go back through, it's like it's such a time sink. Five minutes left. Actually, what's really great is when you get down to like less than a minute, it's like the timer just starts going down in real time. And, or sorry, it just like starts counting down the seconds and it just feels like so anxiety. <laughs> it's just like all anxiety. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, it's okay. It's, I don't think I will be. Oh, see, and I was using my sword and it absolutely just was like nope sorry and i do not like how sometimes it's just like well we'll just go ahead and give you a second we'll give you a second heart we know that you again slidey slidey controls Yeah, and it's like, oh, no, you want to be under there. You need to be pushing up on the bottom of that brick there. Four minutes. Four minutes, y'all. I don't think we're going to meet our employee evaluation. Dun, dun, 
dun dun. Apple's Anonymous. Uh, the more tired you get, the more mistakes you make. And that's very true. Because at the end of the stream the other night, I was just like, there was no way. There was no way. Hey, um, about that that Mac 2, uh, I live on the other hemisphere. So <laughs> there is probably no way <laughs> to ship that case here <laughs> and have it not be like the price of just like opening a factory to make brand new ones. So I appreciate it, though. It's very kind of... Three minutes. Three minutes, Turkish. You know, I want you to just fall on those spikes. Because you absolutely... You look great down there, Bill. That's your name now, Bill. Okay. So let's get over here. You gotta... Oh my gosh. Keep coming up short on that screen there. And I swear to you that I press the... I'm sure you can ship anywhere. Uh, I can't afford uh, to pay for shipping from just anywhere, though. <laughs> that is the trouble, my friend. It is. Uh, I'm sure. Because I, I was trying to ship something to our good buddy. Um, and uh, he... Two minutes remaining. Two minutes Turkish. Um, and it was like a hundred something dollars to like mail. Okay. That is how you do it. Y'all you got to run across there and kind of stop short. Uh, I, I just want the case. That's the whole, and, and you can't just buy an empty case in the U S <laughs> that's the trouble. That's nobody has them. Or if people have them, they are certainly not getting rid of them. I know that, um, People hang on to those Mac 2s. Alright, so here we go. Oh. oh, that was nice. Thank you for the freebie. Thank you for the other freebie. Yep, 60 seconds left. This is where it all kind of gets all like... Ugh. All right. So we are now further than we have ever been in this game. Uh... Yeah, you got to go up and you got to hit that pressure plate up there. That's the thing, though. You just got to keep playing like... Um... Like the timer's not even there. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, um, Adam, I absolutely, I, I just need a case. And it's, um, it's just for fun. I don't, I don't really need a Mac 2. Okay, so you don't want to get that again. So I think what you actually do is you come down this way. And I hope I can show you before time runs out. Um, you come down here and there's like, you got to go through a little cycle of stuff. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, the, uh, the princess gave up. It doesn't make it explicitly clear that uh, Jafar came back and did anything nefarious. She might have just got bored and decided to, you know, go check her tender or something. So, anyway, here we are again, <laughs> back at the opening menu. So, hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out. This is it's just a short little stream. I thought it would be fun to uh, maybe um, play around with Prince of Persia on the PC version. And, but you saw, maybe it's, it's part experience, but maybe part kind of like better coding, maybe in a way. Um that uh, made this performance maybe a little bit better than the last. So anyway, everybody, hey, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kill the uh, PC audio here, I think. And uh, I'm going to sw switch back to the lobby. And uh, hey, again, I want to thank everybody for taking a little bit of time out of their evening to spend it here with me. Um, there's so many things. There's so many people are streaming tonight just because of like ugh, because of December and stuff. So I, I I feel very fortunate that you picked my stream of all the ones that you could 
could have potentially watched. So anyway, everybody, thank you so much. Brandon, uh, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Dave, um, Adam, uh, Apple's Anonymous, uh, Dave's Vintage, Apple Tech, Zodium, uh, Brandon, uh, RetroTech Chris, I, I, I just appreciate everybody kind of coming and hanging out in the chat and stuff. It was kind of fun. Um, maybe Jay is still here, but I'm probably sure he's probably passed out by now. But anyway, everybody, uh, Super Chicken, everybody that stopped, or Secret Chicken, everybody that stopped by, thank you so much. And uh, we'll do another one of these probably next week, play another DOS game, maybe something that is a little less stressful, maybe something a little more fun. The only problem is those games go pretty quick. So anyway, everybody have a wonderful evening. Thank you again. And remember, uh, kind of as I always say, Apple II forever, but Apple II forever. But, uh, you know, uh, get out there and make some content for December. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. So thank you again. Have a wonderful night. Good night.